five cheap sewing tools that are worth every cent. Number one is one of my favorite Korean sewing tools, the bias tape maker. Bias tape maker is super easy to use. You take a piece of fabric and you cut a strap at 45 degree angle. 45 degree angle is a true bias where the fabric has the most stretch. This is why we cut bias tape on the bias because we want it to curve out beautifully. You cut the strap that is twice the width you want in the finished bias tape. Then you take the strap, you put it in the bias tape maker, wrong side of the fabric facing up, and you pin the beginning of the strap to the ironing board. Then you take the handle of the bias tape maker and hold it you start pulling the bias tape maker and pressing the tape that it's coming out. Go slow and make sure you're pressing very very well and giving it a lot of steam. And that's it, the bias tape is finished. I love the bias tape maker because it's very cheap sewing tool and it helps me save so much money because I don't have to buy bias tape anymore. I can make it at home using a scrap fabric, fabric leftovers, or I can match the bias tape to my garment when I cut the pattern pieces and I have the matching fabric leftovers. I use them to create matching bias tape. I have a set of four different sizes of bias tape makers and I bought them for like eight dollars in the local sewing supply store. Of course you can make the bias tape without the bias tape maker but personally this is one of those tools that saves so much time and makes the process very efficient. This is why I think it's a very good tool to have. Now second tool is the magnetic seam guide. Magnetic seam guide is a very easy tool to use. You put it on the metal plate next to the presser foot. If you want to sew a long straight line you make sure that the long edge of the magnetic seam guide is parallel to the presser foot and is at the distance from the needle that is your seam allowance. Then you just go ahead and sew a straight seam and it's always neatly spaced from the fabric edge. Alternatively, if you want to sew curves, you put a short edge of the magnetic seam guide parallel to the presser foot and sew the curve. This way you again get the seam that is always a same distance from the fabric edge. Now whenever I recommend the magnetic seam guide you always get questions if the magnet damages the sewing machine. So from my perspective I've been using the magnetic seam guide here on my sewing machine for the last five years. As long as I have the sewing machine it's always here and the machine sews as good as new. Also there is a very good video from the creator Abby's Den where she talks in depth about this uh, topic and proves how the magnet does not damage the sewing machine so I will link that video if you want to watch it as well. If you're enjoying the video so far, please hit the like button so that the video gets recommended to more viewers and more viewers can learn about these cheap but very effective sewing tools. Thank you and let's continue with our video. Now the third tool is the buttonhole cutter. I might have been living under the rock but it took me years to learn about the buttonhole cutter but now that I have one I love it. Now there is a cheaper option without the cutting mat but now I have the version with the tiny cutting mat which is super effective because I don't have to look for a surface where I have to cut the buttonhole. Using this tool is very simple if you have the version with the cutting mat you make the buttonhole you slip the mat under the buttonhole and using the buttonhole cutter you simply cut the buttonhole nice and beautiful. So for me the best benefit of this particular tool that I can get very precise results, very accurate results and the buttonhole turns out very beautiful every single time without me using much force. Before having this tool I used to use very very small scissors to cut the buttonhole but honestly this tool just makes everything so much faster, neater and more simple. Now the fourth sewing tool is technically not a sewing tool but more of a sewing supply is the spray starch. Now if you like to sew knit fabrics or if you like to sew slippery fabrics that need a little bit of extra control 
This is such an amazing item to have. Using the spray is very easy. You simply take it, spray it on top of your fabric and press the fabric and it's no longer rolling. This is such a cheap solution to the very annoying problem. Now the best part is that once you've finished sewing, you simply wash it and the starch goes away. If you like sewing knits, I definitely recommend having this item at home because it does make sewing knits so much easier and the process is much more enjoyable. And the fifth final item is the chalk sharpener. Now I bought this tool a few years back for like three euros at the local sewing supply store and honestly I couldn't be happier than this because I used to get that very dull uh, edge of the chalk and it used to be very annoying. Yes you can take like an edge of the scissors and make the chalk sharp again but having a dedicated tool just makes it much more efficient for me and it has a tiny compartment where it gathers all the chalk dust so again it makes sewing a bit more neat. This is a cheap tool but if you like working with chalk I think it's a good item to have. So here are all five cheap sewing tools that I absolutely love using. I will link them in the description box down below and also if you would like to learn sewing with me I have a sewing course for this beautiful dolly blouse and I will link it in the description box as well. Thank you for watching today and I will see you next time. Bye!